Hey everyone, you're Tesla Tom. Thanks so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. We just got software update 2022.4.5.3 here in our Tesla Model 3 performance here in Sydney, Australia. Let's go for a drive right now. And to do so, to start the car, literally just flick down on the right stalk like this. Animation of the car goes like that. Faces forward and away you go. And I uh, just want to take this opportunity to uh, congratulate all the brand new Tesla Model 3 owners here in Australia who've just received their vehicles. So congratulations to all of you. I'm sure you're all super excited and don't worry, the excitement does not wear off. Every day is joyous when you own a Tesla Model 3. How good is that? Congratulations, well done everyone. And uh, if anybody in Sydney, by the way, has taken delivery of a Tesla Model 3 SR Plus, or what well, used to be called SR Plus, now it's just the base Model 3, uh, yeah, keep getting in touch with me if you can. Uh, I'd love to review that car if you'd let me, and uh, maybe even compare it to a previous version uh, of the base Model 3. That'd be really interesting for our viewers to know the differences. All right, everyone, so it's about uh, 6.27 p.m. in uh, Australia at the moment, in Sydney anyway, and uh, we're going to go hunting for traffic because uh, with a 4, what, 2022.4 update, we have been seeing improvements with autopilot and regen braking, especially in slow traffic. Let's just put on autopilot right now, double tap with the right stalk. And by the way, what I'm going to do today is actually uh, let you know what features are included as a uh, uh, as part of the base Model 3 uh, and uh, also what is part of the FSD package which is what I have. Ooh, I just had to veer a little bit to the left there because that car was very close to my lane. Um, I'll start again and uh, yeah I'll let you know what is included with uh, a base Model 3 and also what uh, is not included uh, because I have the FSD package and I'll let you know which features. Okay wow that car just broke very quickly and I'll just zip out there. That was extremely dangerous. Yeah. You saw that everyone, just a uh, car just breaking the road like that, but uh, yeah, you can see what happens with the uh, uh, forward collision warning. But uh, what I'll do is uh, actually have um, this, this drive end to end, uh, I'll leave the camera rolling, just pick up stuff like that, uh, keeping it real for you guys. So what I did just then was to match the posted speed sign, I was going at 70 kilometers an hour and that was what the max autopilot speed was, uh, but uh, the posted speed sign says 80, so to match that speed sign you just have to either tap the screen like that or you can tap down on the right stalk like that hold it for one two seconds and the max autopilot speed will match the posted speed sign i prefer to do it this way on the uh, right stalk only because it's safer than taking your eyes off the road and tapping the screen there so that's just a little tip for you guys there so like i said uh, all vehicles uh, all tesla vehicles tesla model 3 new in australia and worldwide I suspect, but especially in Australia, we get the basic autopilot package. Uh, so what I'm doing right now, you guys and girls who have just taken delivery of a Model 3 without FSD activated, you'll get this feature as well. You'll be able to lane auto steer as well as uh, traffic aware cruise control. And by traffic aware cruise control, I mean that it's following the car ahead of me. Uh, you can change how far you want to follow the car. So I'm on number one at the moment. You can flick it to the left and that follows a little bit further behind as well. Just a bit of feedback from um, comments from the last video I did. Uh, the car does accelerate a little bit slower out of the uh, traffic lights. Uh, probably slower than you and I probably would get out of the blocks uh, at an intersection. And someone asked me whether if I put the follow distance closer, does it speed up any quicker? No, it does not, unfortunately. So that, may put, that has no bearing on the, uh, how fast it accelerates out of the traffic light, unfortunately. All right, so what I'm gonna show you now is actually auto lane change. Um, and to do that, you just flick up like that. Now, this is not part of basic autopilot. This requires the FSD package purchase, which is currently in Australia, 10 grand at the time of this video. So if you want that automatic lane change, uh, then you'll need to purchase FSD package. Now, coming up to a traffic light like this, uh, if you are the second and subsequent car, um, then, you know, the car will slow down like this nicely and that was a bit of regen braking as you saw there, whereas previously would have slammed the brakes on, but now that, that was a nice gradual slow down into the traffic light. So if you are the second and subsequent car, then the car will do this, it'll slow down to a halt. But if you're the first car at a traffic light and you don't have the FSD package, then the car will not recognize the traffic light. So just be very careful with that everyone. Uh, don't take traffic lights for granted, they, the car will not stop. Um, if you're the first car. So just be very careful around traffic lights on autopilot. 
If you've got FSD package like I do, then um, you see how just out of the traffic light, it's just a little bit slow, right? I would probably have taken it quicker uh, had I been driving myself. If you come to a traffic light and you're the first car on FSD package, then uh, it'll stop if you've got the traffic light visualization um, activated. It still sees the traffic light on basic autopilot, uh, but it won't react to it on basic autopilot, unlike FSD package. So again, hunting for traffic today in Sydney, 627. There should be a little bit around. And uh, as you can see in slow moving traffic, it does pretty well now with that uh, autopilot regen braking improvement, which I'm pretty happy about. It's just uh, really nice, just following traffic. Sometimes when the intersection is really wide and lane markings aren't great, like they sometimes are in Sydney, uh, just be careful, it uh, can wobble around a bit and it might actually bring up that big red steering wheel and uh, when that happens, just don't panic, just hang onto the wheel and uh, just take it off autopilot. And to do that, there are three ways. Wiggle the wheel, that'll bring you back to cru cruise control. You can just flick up like that and that'll take off autopilot and cruise control as well as uh, pushing the brake. That'll take off autopilot and cruise control as well. And uh, yeah, not too much traffic today, driving into the Western Sun. Sometimes when there's uh, really bad visibility, like if you're really driving into a low setting sun or if there's a lot of wet weather around like it has been in Sydney the last couple of days, uh, autopilot may not engage, so just beware as well. And sometimes when the lane markings are not present, it uh, may not work so well either. All right, I'm gonna do a bit of a lane change now again. It's quite nice, I quite like that lane change function. If I was gonna spend 10 grand, I think uh, on autopilot, that's probably the only reason I would do it for at this stage in Australia, given that we don't have FSD beta. It doesn't do turn turns at the moment on city roads like this. I'm going to have to take autopilot off like that and just uh, turn manually like a pleb and uh, wait for the indicator to turn left. So uh, I've got the side repeater cameras on. You can do that like this with that symbol there with that icon or uh, if you get rid of that, then the map will display. And um, if you have the um, if you have the side repeaters on, then the um, the blind spot monitoring will not come on. But if you take it off like that, then the blind spot monitoring will come on like that. Again, with uh, dot five dot three, they haven't really improved uh, that position. It's still stuck in that corner. I would probably prefer it up here so I can see it more. But uh, yeah, that's I guess that's where gonna they're gonna leave it. And I've got auto high beam on at the moment, and uh, that will come on uh, with. Uh, with roads that are dark, I guess, and there are no cars around. All right, green light, let's go for a turn. Let's uh, put on autopilot again, double tap right stalk. There we are. So that ding is uh, coming up to a traffic light. I'm the first car now. I'll just uh, tap the right stalk again. That's just on uh, FSD package the traffic light reactivity. You don't have to worry about that if you've just got basic autopilot. Uh, just treat traffic lights as you would normally in a normal car. Don't uh, don't presume the autopilot setting, uh, autopilot system will take care of it. And of course, uh, the colorizer is on as well in this, um, in this update like it was in 4.5 that's why my car is that green color uh, if you want full details on the 4.5 update uh, make sure you check out my previous software update video as well for those details all right so second car in the row of cars at a traffic light it should zip out again so again it's uh, not doing so very quickly i would definitely go faster in uh if i was driving manually and because that so yeah, you just got to be careful with autopilot um, at a wide intersection like that. I uh, had a feeling it was going to do that, going to wobble to the right, and you just got to hang onto the wheel and just be very quick with your reaction time. Uh, know that the car may do stuff like that at the stage. Okay, again, that's another wide intersection, so I'll pop on autopilot when we get across it, like this. Oh, sorry. So that grey steering wheel icon has to be on, which is very small now, unfortunately. They haven't made it any bigger at this stage. Um, what a bit of feedback I would like to give Tesla. So there we go, coming up to a traffic light on FSD package. This is what happens, it just slows down nicely with, uh, with regen braking. Yeah, okay, that's uh, unusual. That's probably a little bit further than I would like. But then it corrects itself, interesting. 
Again, it's still not really at the line, so you can just cheat a little bit and uh, get a little bit closer like that. Maybe it saw something on the ground there that I didn't see. Of course, uh, if you guys and girls have seen anything uh, on your drives that, that I've missed over the last few updates, uh, feel free to comment, of course, uh, in the video description and the comments section. Then, um, yeah, I'll try and test it out for you. So again, first car at the traffic light, and that's, uh, yeah, another wide intersection, so I just had to take the wheel because the wheels were trying to go that way. Back on AP now, double tap right stalk. Let's see how it takes this slow down. Yeah, a bit better that time the, with the regen braking. Does it go any faster? See, I've got it on number one, guys. Um, for those of you who asked me before whether if you have it on a, a closer follow, does it go any faster? And not really, unfortunately. It's still a bit slow out of the blocks. Particularly in Sydney, you've got to be quick. You're going to get a horn if you're not too quick in Sydney. That's just the way it is, unfortunately, in inner Sydney. So, a uh, bit of traffic now. That's good. I can't believe I'm saying that. It's good to have traffic, so we can test this. Uh, see, yeah, that intersection was quite wide, so always a bit iffy around wide intersections like that. And uh, particularly on the Pacific Highway here, um, the see these cones here, these orange cones, They, the traffic controllers here, they chop and change the lanes depending on which direction the peak hour traffic is, so just gotta be really careful around the bus. I'm just very cautious there. I took control just there for a second. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, been a good test actually today in, um, well, I wouldn't say peak hour traffic, but you know, reasonable amount of traffic at this time of the day. And yeah, that's been good. It's been good, a good test. All right, everyone, that's it for me today. Just a quick one, given it's a minor update for 2022.4.5.3. Dum, 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 dum. Uh, for our red Tesla Model 3, it is a red Tesla. You can probably see some of the red paint just beyond the cameras there. Uh, even though it is green there, you can, like I said before, with this update, you can change the color scheme. Uh, to do that, uh, if you've got this update, just go to uh, the toy box and uh, yeah, just colorize it. So it's available in park. I'll just quickly show you, put it in park, and then you can customize the car like that. I did that before in the last update. So there we go. I'll just put it back on the native color, which is that one. That's what our car looks like. And uh, I quite like that shiny metallic red. So that's what I'll leave it on. Uh, just coming out of this video. Whoop, just get rid of that. There we go. All right, everyone, that's it for me today. Uh, that's uh, that's it from Sydney in Australia. And uh, hopefully you've received this update as well for your Teslas. Until next time, happy charging.